What is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel I own gold pony I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube and today behind us We have the new 2022 Toyota Camry you guys may already know I've recently reviewed the 2022 Camry But I've also reviewed the 2022 Altima as well And so I figured it would be fun to do a quick comparison between these two because while there are many similarities Including they both come with an all-wheel drive option. They both get the exact same warranty being three year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper, five year 60,000 miles on the powertrain. They both come with two engine options, but they both are very different as well. And so ultimately in this video, we'll be going over 10 key differences between this 2022 Camry and the 2022 Altima with a clear winner at the end. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and get started with number 10 on my list. And so for our first comparison, we will be taking a look at the pricing between these two. To start, the Camry LE is going to start at $25,845. Altima S then is going to start at $24,900, and that was for the base two trims. Then, if you were to go with the top two trims for each particular car, the Camry XSC V6 is going to MSRP at $36,270. Altima Platinum all-wheel drive then starting at $34,600. So in both circumstances, the Altima is is going to be less expensive so Altima is going to take the win for our first comparison putting us at a score one to nothing Altima is in the lead then make our way down to number nine I wanted to compare the reliability between these two and so going to be using JD power as well as consumer reports for this comparison JD power puts the Camry at four out of five stars Nissan Altima is going to rank in at 3.5 out of five stars so for JD power Camry is more reliable then taking a look at consumer reports for the Camry it scores a well above average reliability rating which is the very highest reliability given out by consumer reports and then for the Altima that is going to come in in an average reliability rating so when it comes to reliability the Camry is going to obviously take the win this puts us at a score of one to one let's make our way now to number eight on my list and so for this next comparison, we're going to be taking a look at the power differences between these two. And so Camry and Altima, like I said at the beginning, both have two different engine options. So let's take a look at the base engine first. Camry is going to give you a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder, 203 horsepower, 184 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 coming in at approximately 7.6 seconds. Then taking a look at the Altima base engine, that is going to be yet again, a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder, this time putting out 188 horsepower, 180 pound feet of torque zero to 60 time 7.4 seconds so slightly quicker there for the base engine with the Altima then if you were to go with that upgraded engine for the Camry it's a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated v6 301 horsepower 267 pound-feet of torque producing a zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.1 seconds then taking a look at the Altima's upgraded engine that is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder 248 horsepower 273 pound-feet of torque zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.8 seconds so Altima base engine is going to be quicker to 60 but the Camry upgraded engine is going to be quicker to 60 there so I'm going to go ahead and call this one a tie just to be fair which still puts us at a score of one to one. Next on the comparison list here is going to be the fuel economy between these two. And with gas prices, what they currently are, this is very important. And so take a look at the Toyota Camry first. There are three different configurations. There's going to be the four cylinder putting out 28 MPGs in the city, 39 on the highway. There is that V6 I just mentioned, 23 in the city, 33 on the highway. But then the Camry actually also has a hybrid powertrain available. And that one is going to put out 44 miles per gallon in the city, 47 then on the highway. But then taking a look at the Nissan Altima, four cylinder engine option is going to come in at 28 in the city, 39 on the highways so that the exact same mpgs there four cylinder turbocharged engine the upgraded engine is going to be 25 in the city 34 in the highway and with the ultima there is going to be no hybrid powertrain available for that particular car so having said that since the camry does offer a hybrid that kind of blows the rest of these numbers out of the water so i gotta give the win to the camry on this particular comparison giving us a score of two to one camry is in the lead 
So next on the comparison list here, I wanted to take a look at the rear legroom because chances are if you're buying a sedan, you're more than likely going to have some rear passengers at some point or another. Camry rear legroom space is going to come in at 38 inches even. So for reference, I'm at even six feet tall. This is how much space I had when I tested it out there. Then taking a look at the Altima that is going to come in at 35.2 inches. Again, for reference, I'm at even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. So quite honestly, I could fit in both of them, but you will get substantially more space in the back seats if you were to go with the Camry. So Camry is a clear winner here, putting us at a score of three to one. Camry is in the lead. Next on the comparison list is cargo space. And so popping the trunk here, Camry is going to come in at 15.1 cubic feet, which actually is pretty darn impressive. That is a very good number for cargo space. Then taking a look at the Altima, 15.4 cubic feet, so even better. Again, very good number for cargo space back there. Both offer a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up quite substantially. But ultimately, in the end, the Altima does sneak out the win here, putting us at a score of 3-2. to two. Camry is still in the lead. Next on the comparison list, I have to mention it here, is going to be safety because if you're buying a sedan, you probably may have kids in the back and you definitely want to be sure that you have a safe vehicle. So when it comes to safety, I'm going to be using IIHS, which is the most reputable safety ratings company out there, in my personal opinion. Toyota Camry gets an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which is the very highest designation given by IIHS. Then taking a look at the Altima, also an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. So they both get the very highest safety rating available, which is definitely a very good thing. Both also get knee airbags up front. Both get a forward collision warning system with autonomous emergency braking. Both are great for safety overall, essentially, is what I'm getting at here. So again, I'm gonna have to call this one a tie because they're both excellent when it comes to safety. Three to two, Camry is still in the lead. Next on the comparison list here is going to be the braking. This is one that always stands out to me because after driving 600 plus vehicles, I am very particular when it comes to the braking feel. So when it comes to the Camry, up front you're gonna get 12 inch ventilated front discs, in the back 11.1 .1 inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, it comes in at 122 feet. And I remember the Camry and it definitely had a very nice braking feel, it tends to lean more on the firm side of things, which I personally appreciate. Then take a look at the Nissan Altima. Up front you're gonna get 11.7 inch ventilated front disc in the back 11.5 inch solid rear disc 60 zero stopping distance comes in at a very impressive 115 feet so it's due in part because the Altima is a lighter car it's about 100 pounds less than the Camry so it does come to a stop a little bit quicker so for this particular comparison Altima is going to take the win putting us at a tie three to three let's go ahead and make our way now to overall driving dynamics so when it comes to this comparison, I'm going to be using several different factors here to give you my opinion. Let's first take a look at the Camry here. Great steering feel. It's weighted nicely, a little bit more on the heavier side of things, which I personally appreciate. As far as cabin noise goes, that did very well there as well. A little bit of road noise, but it wasn't all that bad. And that's due in part because there is an acoustic laminated front windshield, which definitely contributes to the lack of cabin noise. So that was pretty good. Good ride quality as well for what the vehicle is. And the eight speed automatic did pretty darn good. It's pretty much as I expected. So no issues there. Then take a look at the Nissan Altima. Again, very great steering feel, weighted nicely. Quite honestly, it felt nearly identical to the Camry, so that was pretty nice. Minimal road noise yet again because of the acoustic laminated front windshield, so right on point once again. And I will say for this next section here, I'll give the disclaimer that the Altima that I was testing was the SR trim level, which had a sport tuned suspension. And there is a sport tuned suspension available for the Camry as well, although that wasn't the one I particularly tested. So since I had the sport tuned suspension, I will say the ride was actually quite rough a very noticeable rough ride in the SR trim level. I would imagine if I did not have that sport tuned suspension, it may have been a much smoother ride. So I did want to mention that. Then taking a look at the transmission for the Altima, it has a CVT as opposed to the eight speed automatic in the Camry. So the CVT transmission was a bit emotionless because it kind of acts as kind of like a rubber band, one giant gear. So you don't get much emotion to it. But having said that, the trade-off is it does come with paddle shifters, which did react pretty quickly, but they're still simulated shifts because there isn't any actual gear technically so in my personal opinion Camry is gonna win this comparison because it does come with a smoother ride and also a much better transmission option because of that 8-speed as opposed to Nissan CVT putting us at a score of 4 to 3 Camry is in the lead 
And for my very last comparison here between these two, I wanted to take a look at the interior quality differences here because both include a lot of hard plastics, unfortunately. The Ultima adds some carbon-like trim around the cup holders and the doors, which I was kind of a fan of. Both, however, do have too much gray plastic surrounding those cup holders, which I was not particularly a fan of. There are ways around that you could put a design to the plastic or just simply change the texture completely. So anyways, Ultima offers wood trim options on the top trim levels and ultimately more soft touch options as well, giving it a more upscale feel to the interior. On the flip side, the Camry offers a red interior option with a design that tilts everything towards the driver, giving it more of a sportier interior design. So that's really where the difference lies between these two. It depends on what you're really going for here. So I'm gonna have to call this one a tie just because it depends on your own personal preference there. But overall, that puts us at a score of four to three Camry inches out the wind. So while the Camry won my particular comparison, it is still very possible that the Altima may be the right vehicle for you. If you were looking for something a little bit less expensive, the Altima has that. It also has better braking and more cargo space as well. But ultimately, the Camry won my comparison for the better reliability, better fuel economy, better rear legroom, etc. So that is my personal take. Let me know what you guys would pick in the comment section below. And so that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel. Before it actually gets to YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're in new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.